Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to share my super science strategies on how you can crack your science exam and score great marks. I've also been a student like you and these strategies have helped me score great marks in my exam. Teaching is my passion. I've been teaching students for the last seven years. So these tips are going to be simple, practical and full of real examples. So be sure to watch the entire video because I guarantee you that if you apply these tips, you're going to see a huge improvement in your marks. These tips are very simple and practical and they don't require so much effort, but your improvement will be significant. I'll be discussing both physics and chemistry tips in this video. And if you like this video, do share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for our channel and also the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos. So are you ready? Let's get started. Tip number one, complete your syllabus and practice many question papers. Don't just practice the questions at the back of your textbook because they are only on a specific chapter. You need to practice a variety of questions because that's going to help you prepare for your final exam. It's an important skill that when you look at a question to identify which chapter it's from so that you can focus on the answer and solve the question quickly. So practice a variety of question papers. Now, where do you get good question papers from? There are a lot of books available out there in the market. Out of all those books, I highly recommend the Oswald sample papers for science because their questions are based on the latest CBSE syllabus as released by the board. Their questions are really good and they have model solutions and toppers answers, which will help you understand how to write a good answer in the exam. They also have chapter summary, mind maps and online support. So you can quickly revise the chapter before your exams. I also like the answering tips and the commonly made errors given with the questions because that helps to remind you that not to make the same mistakes in the exams. So I highly recommend the Oswald science sample papers. I'll put the links below. So do check it out. Tip number two, make a formula list for each chapter. In physics, there's so many formulas. For example, electricity chapter has a lot of formulas, light chapter, work and energy chapters. So it's good to make a formula list for each chapter. And I want you to write the list yourself. Don't just read a list from a book. Write down the formula list yourself because then you'll remember it better. And when you're doing a physics sum, clearly write down the data and think of the formula list in your mind and write down the correct formula, substitute the numbers and I bet you'll get the answer right. So don't forget to make a formula list for each chapter. Tip number three, draw diagrams. It's super important to practice the diagrams by drawing it. Don't just look at the diagram in your textbook. Draw the diagrams. For example, in the light chapter, ray diagrams are very important and they are often asked in the exam. So practice these diagrams. For example, in the lens diagram, after you draw the lens, mark the optical center, the focus, twice the focus, and when you draw the rays, don't forget to mark the arrows because labeling in diagrams is very, very important. Otherwise you lose marks if you don't label it correctly. So draw the diagrams that way it becomes a habit. And during the exam, you won't waste time. You'll be able to draw it quickly and correctly. So practice diagrams. Tip number four, write units. This is a very common mistake. Your answer is right but you forgot to write the units. For example, you wrote 100, but you forgot to write 100 watts. What is the unit of power? My school physics teacher taught us this lesson the hard way. If we forgot to write the units, no marks. The entire question would be marked wrong. We would feel very upset, but that helped us be alert and be careful during the board exams so that we didn't forget to write our units. And at Manocha Academy, we followed the same philosophy with our mock tests. So if you forget to write the units, there are no part marks. 
which reminds me to check out the mock tests on our website manochaacademy.com i'll put the links below so in our courses we have mock tests video lessons on each topic there are live classes and you can ask doubts and these courses will really help you prepare for your exams so do check them out i'll put the links below and guys don't forget to write the units tip number 5 visualize the sums when solving the sums always draw rough diagrams to visualize it for example in the electricity sums you must draw the circuit diagram and mark all the important things in the light sums on mirrors or lenses be sure to draw the diagram and mark the axis for the sign convention because it's very important to decide the sign based on the diagram so whatever sum you're solving in physics be sure to visualize it with the help of a diagram drawing diagrams is not a waste of time it will help you get your answer correct i always used to visualize my sums by drawing diagrams and i would avoid careless mistakes and get full marks in the sums so remember draw diagrams and visualize your sums we've discussed quite a few physics tips now let's discuss some chemistry tips which brings us to tip number 6 learn symbols valency and atomicity this is super important i can't stress how important it is to know your symbols valency and atomicity values because if you don't know them your formulas will go wrong equations will go wrong and you can easily lose 20 30 or even more marks in your chemistry exam so please promise me that after watching this video you're going to revise your atomicity valency and symbols don't leave it for the last day because i have seen students revising it just one day before the exam or on their way to the exam don't do that because you'll get nervous if you forget things and it will all get mixed up what you can do is take a photocopy of the valency sheet and stick it next to your bed and make sure you revise it regularly till you're super confident about it and again revise it before each chemistry exam i always make my students regularly revise the valencies and i test them on it so that my students get full marks on their valency tip number 7 balance 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 don't forget to balance your chemical equations just like they say you should lead a balanced life please remember to balance your chemical equations and the best way to practice chemical equations is to write them down don't read the equations like reading a story book sit and write the equations think of the valencies check your formulas and always practice balancing the equation don't just memorize the balancing numbers because you can forget them you should know the balancing techniques and if you have any doubts you can watch my videos on balancing chemical equations so guys please practice balancing and i remember when i used to walk into my chemistry exam i would say to myself balance 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 so that i won't forget to balance the chemical equations in my exam tip number 8 learn colors and observations because chemistry exam is a very colorful exam full of colors and observations often you have to be like a science detective and predict what is the chemical substance given in the question or what is going to be the observation and for that you need to know many details for example copper sulfate is made of blue colored crystals barium sulfate has a white precipitate and sulfur dioxide has a pungent smell and so on now i know it's difficult to remember all these details but it's very important for the chemistry exam so here's what i suggest when you're reading your chemistry book keep your pen or marker handy and keep marking all these important things in the chemistry book so that you keep revising these colors and observations till you remember them because they are super important for your chemistry exam because remember in the exam you are a chemistry detective and now for tip number 9 learn the periodic table and reactivity series you don't have to learn the entire periodic table as i've discussed in my classes just learn the mini periodic table till calcium i've also discussed the trendy periodic table that will help you predict the trends in periodic properties so be sure to learn these and the reactivity series is also very important i've shared a mnemonic which goes something like p 
please stop calling me a cute zebra and so on which stands for potassium, sodium, calcium and you can watch this in my video. So to check out these videos, do see the courses on our website manochaacademy.com. I put the links to the courses below. So do check them out and don't forget to learn these important things early. Please don't leave it for the last day. So remember, learn the periodic table and reactivity series because it will help you with many of the questions in that chapter and to predict displacement reactions and reactions in the metal chapter. And last but not least, tip number 10. Mark the important things. This is my favorite tip and something that I've followed throughout my student life. So whenever you're studying, please sit with a pencil, pen, highlighter, marker and make sure you're marking the important things that you're reading in your textbook. Things that you keep forgetting. For example, if you can't remember some physics formula, please mark it. Or some chemical equation that you find difficult to remember, mark that. This will really help you on the last day to revise all the important things. I wish I had my school textbooks. I could show you. They were full of markings of all the important things that I would keep forgetting. So mark the things that are important for you. Please don't mark the entire textbook. And you'll see that on the last day, you're revising all the things that you keep forgetting so you can easily remember it on the day of the exam. This is a very efficient and smart strategy and it'll help you quickly revise the day before your exam. So you can quickly finish your revision and go to bed relaxed. And being relaxed and confident before your exam is super important because you know confidence is key to success. So guys, please make sure you're marking all the important things in your book so that your revision is fast and efficient. Here's a quick recap of the super science strategies we discussed. Tip number one, complete your syllabus and practice question papers. I've put a link to the Oswald sample papers book below. So do check it out. Tip number two, make a formula list of each chapter. Tip number three, draw diagrams to practice them. Tip number four, don't forget to write the units. Tip number five, visualize the sums by drawing a rough diagram. Tip number six, learn symbols, valency and atomicity. It's very important. Tip number seven, balance, balance, balance. Don't forget to balance your chemical equations. Tip number eight, learn colors and observations in chemistry. Tip number nine, learn the periodic table and reactivity series. And tip number 10, mark the important things in your book for your final day revision. I hope you found these super science strategies useful. Do let me know what was your favorite tip by putting it in the comments below. So here's wishing you all the very best for your exams. Keep the momentum going, keep studying and I'm sure you're going to crack your exams. I'm also super excited to let you know that recently we've launched the physics, chemistry and maths courses for CBSE class 8 and ICSE class 10. So do check out our new courses on our website manuchaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. We have courses for CBSE and ICSE class 8, 9 and 10. So do check it out and do share it out with your friends. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button for our channel and also click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Thanks for subscribing and sharing. And do check out the full courses for physics, chemistry, maths and computers on our website manochaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. Hope you like it and Happy learning.